pleasure to be here with you and thank you for giving me the opportunity to present my research. And the title of my research is Analyzing Employees' Perceptions of Using Artificial Intelligence and Gamification in Human Resource Management Practices on Employees' Job Insecurity. This presentation is going to cover the introduction and the research objective, the barriers and hypotheses, the research methodology, the findings, and finally, the limitation and the future research. First of all, we cannot ignore that the world around us is changing rapidly, and all organizations and individuals need to adapt to those changes and discover new ways of organizing, performing, and leading. In line with these changes, organizations are turning to using artificial intelligence and gamification in a number of areas in HR practices, such as recruitment, selection, training, and also rewarding employees. So first of all, uh, let me define what is artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence is the development of machines and computer programs which can complete tasks that would otherwise require the cognitive capabilities of humans. And through the review of artificial intelligence literature review, it reveals that artificial intelligence is capable of handling the different manual sorting and organization duties that human resource employees face every day. And such as one of the applications of using artificial intelligence in recruitment is using, for example, a chat box for answering common questions or for answering uh, the applications and also for um, scheduling, interviewing, and uh, onboarding as well. In addition, the applications of AI in selection, for example, like candid assessment, and this is done through uh, gamification. And the gamification is defined as um, using the game elements in non-game context, and this is by using series of interactive games which can enhance selection and make the process more engaging. Also, gamification has gained widespread interest in the marketing and business sectors as well, due to its ability to improve the efficiency of the process. And according to the practitioners and researchers, um, this type of games can be used in various ways for recruitment. And for example, here in Egypt, we have a very example uh, uh, like um, Hire Hunt company. Hire Hunt is an Egyptian new gamified platform for job seekers. And also, a lot of companies here using uh, gamification in their training process to enhance the motivation of employees and engaging there uh, more quietly in the process of training. And due to the rapid emergence and evolution of artificial intelligence, technologies have highlighted the increasing number of job insecurity. So let me explain what is job insecurity. The job insecurity is defined as an everyday experience that involves uncertainty about one job in the future. And the experience of job insecurity can influence the employee to search for more career opportunities in, uh, for the other career opportunities in workplaces where they can feel more competent, capable, and secure. So the research objective is to reveal the perceptions of HR employees towards using artificial intelligence and gamification in managing HR and practices. In addition, to examine the relationship between using artificial intelligence and gamification on employees' job insecurity. As shown here, the research variable, independent variables, which are artificial intelligence and gamification, and the dependent variable here is employee job insecurity. At the research hypothesis number one, employee perceptions of using artificial intelligence and gamification in HRM is positively influenced employee job insecurity. And the, sub, the first sub hypothesis is the employee's perceptions of using artificial intelligence in HRM positively influence employee job insecurity. And the second sub hypothesis is employee perceptions of using gamification in HRM uh, practices positively influence employee uh, job insecurity. Um, the research methodology, uh, as I mentioned before, that we are targeting the HR employees. So this research was conducted on 400 Egyptian human resource employees in different sectors like banking, telecommunication, education, retail, pharmaceutical, uh, etc. And uh, they are all located in greater Gaia region and they were selected using non probability judgmental sampling method. And the data collected was gathered through a quantitative approach with a structured questionnaire that's composed of 
four sections. The first section covers the respondent demographics information, and while the second and third section covers the research independent variable, which are artificial intelligence and gamification. And the fourth uh, section, which, which is la the last one, is covering the independent variable, which is employees um, job insecurity. And each of these questions has its own score rating from one to five, strongly disagree to strongly agree. Uh, finally, related statistical analysis correlation and regression analysis are used to test the research hypothesis. And moreover, described the statistics, wrote factor analysis, and explained variance values were used. For the research finding, um, the, research, the main research hypotheses and the sub-hypotheses were um, accepted and supported according to the, the statistical analysis. And the result of this research reveals that using both artificial intelligence and gamification has a significant positive effect on employee job insecurity. And also, gamification and artificial intelligence are two of the most important factors that will affect the way HR functions are conducted. And they will allow organizations to improve the efficiency of their talent acquisition processes. Also, the finding of this research shows that employees are more likely to use artificial intelligence in the greater places than gamification. And from this perspective, the result is and this research recommended that organizations should focus on improving the employees' skills of using technology, and this could be achieved by human resource manager to map out the integration between artificial intelligence and the function of HR uh, management, so the employees respond to the technology with no fear of losing their jobs. Also, Organizations should implement an effective career and talent management strategies that ensure the best talent are retained and provided with adequate support within the threats both by artificial intelligence and the potential job, job losses. Um, one of the most effective ways to support employees who are worried uh, that their job might be at risk to use the use of technology, machine learning, artificial intelligence in their work, in their workplace is providing them with career counseling. And career counseling can be beneficial when organizations start implementing and integrating technology and artificial intelligence in their operation. It's also crucial that top management teams have a clear and effective communication strategy to guarantee that employees are informed about their future careers. Uh, when it comes to limitation and future research, this research has certain limitations should be taken into consideration. The results obtained can be generalized on all employees in the different departments due to the differences in terms of their objectives and practices. As you are focusing only on HR stuff, so further studies can be extended to measure the employees' perceptions in all departments and in all organizations. Also, the sample size was only 400 HR employees. Um, I do believe that the largest sample size is it will provide um, positive and new insights into the varying effects of artificial intelligence integration between occupations in terms of how employees perceive artificial intelligence and how this impacts their job security. Um, also regarding the instruments used in this research, uh, as I mentioned before, I use a quantitative approach with a structured questionnaire, and this is, may have a limitation related to um, using um, force choice scales and using in this case qualitative approach will allow a deeper understanding of the factors that affect of employees' perceptions of gamification and artificial intelligence. And this could be done by, um, for example, interviewing uh, resourcing professionals, HR consultants, and even film artificial intelligence experts. Uh, future research can be extended to gain better understanding of how the technology affects the perceptions of employees and examining the reaction at different stages of implementation uh, to artificial intelligence. Also, additional studies are also needed to develop a diagnostic tool that will help organizations to align um, their artificial intelligence and gamification strategy with their culture and system. And the fourth research also could focus on the difference between employees' perception based on their generation. As we all know, due to the radical change in technology, the current generation is able to work with technology in an efficient way than the previous one. For this reason, a study could measure the perception of both Generation Z and Generation X 
about using artificial intelligence application workplace. And this is what provides a deeper understanding of impact of artificial intelligence and gamification on the job and career attitudes and behaviors of uh, employees. Thank you so much.